The Hindu Kush region of Afghanistan is a mountainous area that stretches for more than 1,000 kilometers through the heart of the country. This rugged and remote region has been home to a variety of different cultures and civilizations throughout history, and it has played a significant role in shaping the history of the region. One of the most notable aspects of the Hindu Kush is its rich deposits of lapis lazuli, a deep blue semi-precious stone that has been highly valued for thousands of years. The ancient Egyptians, in particular, had a deep reverence for lapis lazuli and used it extensively in their art, jewelry, and religious ceremonies. For thousands of years, the Egyptians relied on the Hindu Kush region as a source of lapis lazuli. They would send expeditions to the region to mine the stone and bring it back to Egypt, where it was used in a wide range of applications. In ancient Egypt, lapis lazuli was believed to have powerful healing properties and was often used in amulets and other protective talismans. It was also used to make inlays for statues and sarcophagi, and was a popular stone for jewelry making. The stone was also ground into a powder and used as a pigment in cosmetics, painting and manu- In addition to its practical uses, lapis lazuli also held a deep spiritual significance for the ancient Egyptians. It was believed to have been created by the god of the sky, and was often used in religious ceremonies and burials. The blue color of the stone was also associated with the heavens, and it was believed to bring good luck and protection from evil. Despite the fact that the ancient Egyptians relied heavily on the Hindu Kush region for lapis lazuli, little is known about the exact methods they used to mine the stone or the routes they took to transport it back to Egypt. However, it is clear that the ancient Egyptians had a deep reverence for this precious stone, and that the Hindu Kush region played a significant role in the development of their culture and civilization. Today, lapis lazuli is still mined in the Hindu Kush region, and it continues to be an important part of the local economy. While the methods and technologies used to mine the stone have changed significantly over the millennia, the deep blue stone remains just as valued and revered as it was in ancient times. Cater Foundations is dedicated to sharing information and fostering understanding among people of all cultures and backgrounds. We believe that by sharing our common history, we can bring people together and promote a more harmonious and peaceful world.